we are working with our manufacturing team on just the housing of this assembly. So I'll start by suppressing the PCB subassembly. I'll also hide the selection button. A new option has been added to the export dialog. You can now control if you wish to include hidden components. Any suppressed components are always excluded. Upon importing the file, notice it contains only the two housing components that were shown on screen at the time of export. Several new end conditions have been added, allowing you to better define partial length fillets. The existing position condition defined the length of the fillet based on a percentage of the total edge length. This wasn't always the most useful. Now you can use an entity to define the exact location to terminate your fillet. You can also use an offset to define a dimensional value offset from either the starting or the ending point of the fillet edge. Bezier sketch entities create smooth curves that are especially useful in surfacing workflows. We always start with the smallest number of control points but in this case, we will need at least one more to match the shape that we are trying to trace. Notice that adding a control point manually shifts the entire geometry. Instead, with this release, we can elevate the degree of the Bezier sketch entity, automatically adding additional control points while keeping the curve geometrically identical. You can continue to increase the degree further as you see fit to correctly map to the shape of curve you desire. However, keep in mind that generally using fewer control points leads to smoother outcome surfaces. When calculating the mass of an assembly, an icon has been added to indicate if components have been excluded from the bill of materials. This is because excluded components are not added to the total mass calculation. This is also true when evaluating the mass from the assembly's properties. However, if you display the mass and section properties, this will include all components in the assembly, even if they've been excluded from the bill of materials. This assembly is currently overdefined with more than one parts being fixed. The extra fixed part happens to be buried deep within the assembly structure. New with this release, you can right-click an assembly and unfix all parts within it, without having to dig down into each individual fixed part. When creating a detail view, you can now define the profile style. The inline style shows the view name in line with the detail circle. The connected style shows the view connected to its reference. The leader style allows you to place a leader with the view name. You may also choose to hide the profile on the view. The default detail view profile style can be set from the drawing properties under the views tab. Broken views now sync between a parent and a projected child view. Creating a break of this front view automatically adds a break to the projected view below. Creating a new projected view off of an already broken view will also yield a view with a break. If this result is not desired, the synchronization can be turned off from the view properties. The break can then be removed without impacting any other views on the drawing. Thanks for watching. Click the logo to subscribe or see some of our other videos linked here.